Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Ultrix tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the tile tool, which allows us to group data sets by assigning a value or tile based on a range found in the data. There are five different methods with the tile tool. We'll go over examples of each of them. First, we have the equal records method, which will assign the tile to the same number of records within the data set. We'll then look at the equal sum, smart tile, the manual method, and lastly, the unique method. So on the right, we've got an example of the tiles assigned by the unique method. So each unique city in the list gets a tile number, which is the, um, the grouping. And then the tile sequence number is the record ID within the grouping. But regardless of the method with the tile tool, we always have these two new fields assigned to the right, the tile number and the tile sequence number. So let's go ahead and open the example for the tile tool found in the blue preparation category. So we're provided some address data. And the first tile method we want to take a look at is called equal records. So zooming into the configuration panel, let's take a look at the configuration for the tile tool. So the equal records tile, in this case, will create five tiles or groups with an equal number of records in them. So we have a total of 1,491 records. So we should have close to 300 tiles, or 300 records in each tile. So the tile number, again, is the initial grouping. So one through five in this case. And then the tile sequence number is the record ID within that grouping. So record 300 is where tile number two begins. And upon investigating the data, the city of Stockbridge we see is actually assigned to two different tile numbers. So one great feature of the tile tool is that if you'd like, you can choose to not split tiles based on one of the fields. So in this case, we indicate the city field and we go back to record 300. And we would hope that all of these Stockbridge records are assigned to the same tile number. So if that's part of your use case when processing data, uh, the tile tool can help you assign these groupings. Next, we'll take a look at the equal sum method. So here the stores are tiled randomly and formed so that the sum of each tile's average sale will be equal with the other tiles. This is really useful when you're creating groups where you want the groups to have the same uh, total value of some field. Uh, but you don't necessarily care about how those uh, records are assigned. So again, we're creating five tiles, and we're summing the average sale column. Next, let's take a look at the smart tile method. Again, we'll look at the average sale as the numeric column. And here I'm indicating to output the verbose name column. So we'll have a third new field off to the right called the smart tile name. Now we may notice that the records are sorted in a different order. And in addition to our tile number and tile sequence number, we also have the smart tile name. A tile number of zero indicates that these records have an average sale that's in the average category. And a negative tile number is showing us records where the average sale is below average. Uh, tile number of negative 2 showing us that it's two standard deviations below and negative 3 would be three standard deviations below. Next let's take a look at the manual method of creating tiles or groups and for this method we the user are going to define how many tiles and the thresholds for these tiles or groups um, in the dialog box where we can enter one or more cutoffs. So if I enter a value of 10, we'll see that when an average sale is less than 10, it is assigned to tile number one. Anything above that would be a tile number two. So here let's add uh, cutoffs at 50, 100, and 500. And this should allow for us to have custom tiles across our records at whatever thresholds we'd like to see. And one of my favorite methods is the unique method. So here we're going to assign each unique city 
a tile number and indicate that we want to leave the data unsorted. So here, all of our records from the city of Agawam are tile number one, Amherst tile number two, and so on down the list. And then the tile sequence number is that record ID from within the list. Here, if we change the unique column to the average sale, the tile number is now going to be uh, a grouping of stores that have the same average sale amount. So depending on how we want to group these records together, you can get really creative with the tile tool. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.